Welcome to Ballistic High Speed, where we combine two of the greatest things on planet Earth. Super slow motion and firearms and firearm physics. I'm Adam. I'm Bryce. Join us on our journey for Ballistic High Speed. Welcome to another episode of Ballistic High Speed. Today we have another partnership series with Highcom Armor. They've sent us uh, quite a few products to test. We're gonna be starting with two different types of their soft body armor. We have a level two and a level three A. We're gonna be shooting both of these with some nine millimeter SXT hollow point ammunition. See how these fare. After that, we have a piece of a shield. It is a level three, so we'll be testing it with some 762 by 39 out of an AR platform, but it's most commonly known for the AK-47 round. So we're gonna be resting these against some ballistic gel to roughly simulate a human body, and we'll see what happens. Let's get to it. Let's do it. All right, this is the nine millimeter against the soft body armor, level two. High speed is ready when you are. Shooter is ready. Three. Perfect. Let's watch some glorious high speed. Weapon is clear. I told you aim for the QR code and you nailed it. Nice little ripple. So you can tell with it dragging like that that it caught it. When they go through, you don't get nearly that. True. Follow. Because now you've got all the kinetic energy. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yep, there it is. Wow, you can see like the exact shape of it. <laughs> yeah, just flaked off that material a little bit. Punched right up to it, and that's it. Cool. Well, uh, we have no way to open this to. So as far as like back deformation, there's really not a whole lot. You can see it. I don't think that hole was in the box. It's the same shape. Let's uh, put some more rounds into it. Uh, see what happens. Do you see it? That's it right there. Oh, that is the back of the bullet, isn't it? Yeah. It like didn't even change shape. That's impressive considering how thin that is. Yeah. It is very thin. Cool. I mean, if that was up under my sweatshirt, you wouldn't even know. Moving on. Go ahead. Just... Everybody ready? Cool. Weapon's clear. Cool. Looks like you got two pretty close. Yeah. Let's see the front, how close those were. Couple of fingers. Yeah, one, an inch two, or three, four, five, six. Cool. Not a single one made it through. Nope. As we should expect. And this is the level two. Level two. Cool. Very cool. Happy with that? Let's move on. Good job, Highcom. All right, this is level 3A soft body armor, shot with a nine millimeter SXT. Take one. High speed is ready when you are. Shooter's ready. In three, two. Cool. A little off the mark. <sighs> Not quite that QR code. Not quite the QR code. Here's the back of the round again. Yep. Or at least no it's in there, there somewhere. Wow. Okay. Looks even better. It didn't flake off any of that material. Yeah. Which I don't know if that's necessarily makes it better, but does it feel like it's coming out as far, not as far? I would say not as far. Let me see it from the edge. Yeah. Hardly any back deformation at all. Interesting stuff. Yeah, you can totally cool. see it. Well, let's throw five more rounds into it, see what happens. Do it. Let's see what we got. I'm anticipating very similar results. It did split this. We put a couple right on top of each other. Okay. It's a lot but, of pressure in one spot. Yep. And still performed just fine. I mean, yeah. 
Probably the worst of the deformation is right there, which really isn't all that bad. No. And even then, I mean, that was still too pretty close to yeah. each other. Well, I'd say both vests did exactly what they were supposed to do. Sure did. And uh, I know it's quite a bit of a drastic jump, but we've got a section of a shield. We've got to move back to about 50 feet, but yes, let's do it. Let's mm. do it. All right, this is the shield shooting it with a 7.62 by 39 round. We're gonna start with one shot and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let's get a really close up look at this. Where is that hole? Can't even tell. You can kind of no tell idea. straight from the side. But. Yeah. All right, let's see the back. So then the back. Hardly. Basically nothing. Yeah. It's like the smallest little bulge. That's wild. And for a rifle round too. Yeah. 7.62. A very prevalent rifle around too. Shoot. That's awesome. Well, let's shoot some more into it. I'm sure it'll be exactly the same, but got to test it some more. So from what I could tell just in person, it seemed like all of your shots were within like an inch or two of each other. Right. These are from previous shots. Yeah. That one might be from this one. But yeah, they were all. I can, if you look super close, yeah, there's like a hole there, two right next to each other, one there. So we put five or six shots in and they're all clustered together. So I'm really curious how it fared. Go ahead and pull it off. Oh, I wanted to do it cool. How's it look? It's bulge. Bulge. Yeah. You can, it kind of. You can went. start to see some of the material coming out. Can. Does it, does it still feel flat in there? Yeah. Nice. You can see it was starting to like beat up yeah. that cardboard there from all those hits. That, but I mean, that's been through heck and I mean, the fact that you put five or six rounds that close and it's still just barely hanging on. I can feel like, some other like there's one over here, yeah. one there. So another yeah. bullet or two, it may start going through, you think? I would think so, yeah. But man, that was, what five seven six twos in a at least yeah fist side circle that that's is. not bad at all i i would feel comfortable behind that yeah and just to clarify um it's pretty light this one we had to fire from 50 feet away and yeah. with the soft body those were all from about 16 17 16 feet away and a half. just to you know yep. comply with how these are tested and everything held up that's pretty cool Alrighty, that's a wrap up for this video. I know it's a bit unorthodox to be testing this kind of armor against that kind of armor, but why not? It's a good contrast. It kind of is. Um, Seeing like how much, you know, force goes through and then how this just kind of That pretty it. much did nothing. Right. Unless you start stacking up rounds, which even then that's unlikely to happen out in, in the field. But both of these did remarkably well. Again, each one had what, six rounds in it? Yep. And nothing went through on anything just the standard bulging and back deformation that you'd expect. Everything went really well. I'd wear this. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I All of this performed yeah. to I expectation. Think, I think in the future, if we start getting more stuff like this, I'd start to like really want to push this to its limits with like higher calibers and yeah. you know faster rounds and heavier rounds, things like that. Because that's what it's fun. rated to, I mean, can you go over it? We could find out. We could. But uh, for now, thanks again, Highcom Armor, for sending this out. We've got uh, another video um, that's going to be dealing with a couple of their helmets. Got some AR-1000 steel plates with various coatings on it um, and some other stuff you'd put in plate carriers. That yeah. should be pretty interesting. I think it will be. Yeah. So again, thanks for watching. If you uh, haven't subscribed yet, please do. We have got social media if you want to follow us. We always put little sneak peeks and previews over on there on Instagram and Facebook, things like that. Um, so yeah. Thanks again. We'll see you in the next video. Yeah.